Good morning everyone, this is Hector with HBO Gaming Online. So today we're going to discuss one of the biggest events of the summer and that is the fishing event. So let's get this party started. So for this event, Isabel will greet you in the morning and she will let you know that the summer fishing tournament is starting and is going to end at 6 p.m. on that day. Additionally, if you check on your bulletin board, the event will be announced a couple days before. Let's go ahead and welcome some friends. Let's give a round of applause to Anita, Let's welcome Sakume, and finally, let's welcome Rove. Hosting the event in CJ, our fish-loving friend. First of all, he will explain you the rules of the event, which are very simple. Catch as many fish as you can within 3 minutes and you will rack up points, one per fish. Additionally, you will rack points as well on your friend's catches. For every 10 points, you will be able to exchange points for swag. Any fish that you catch, and if you don't have it on your collection, you can pull it out from the cooler and then you can donate it to the museum. Once that everyone is ready for the fishing tournament to start, CJ will start counting three minutes. So once he starts, just run into the water, to a body of water, it could be a, ri a river, it could be an ocean. If you have fish bait, it will be easier to catch fish because you're calling fish with the bait. This will optimize your fishing chances of getting any kind of fish. Make sure that you're moving all around because you would need to see more fish around. Just like in this instance, from the pier we move to another part of the island to find another fish. In this case, it is a um, puffer fish. Since we were not able to see more fish around the area, I used a bait to call a fish. Let's see what comes out in this case. Oh look, it's another puffer fish. If you notice at the top of the screen you have the timer and also you have the fish count. Once you catch three fish, you have a bonus. The bonus is that if you catch more than three fish, then you will be able to get one extra point. So let's say I have four fish as of this moment. That means that I already have four points. But with a total combine of everyone fish, Let's say if everyone already has four fish as of this moment, then we should be getting at least 16 points. One of the best things about this fishing tournament is that depending on the time of the day and also depending on the time of the year, you might be able to get fish that you haven't caught before.
So you don't know, maybe you will be getting a very rare fish that you can also donate to the museum. Make sure that you're catching different fish in the ocean and on the river so you can have a different variety of fish. Unfortunately, this fish won't count because it was caught right after the time limit. Don't forget to take the fish from the cooler that you don't have or that you want to keep. At the end of the three minutes, you can go talk to CJ and he will offer you to buy all the fish that you don't want at the regular rate that he gives you. And that is 1.5, the regular price of the fish. At the end of the three minutes, he will give you the count of how many points you all got as a group. If you accumulate over 300 points during the day, then he will give you a very nice gold trophy. He will send you the trophy over mail the next day. After each round, you can always exchange the points for the swag or the prizes for the tournament that is happening. You can get a cooler, a fish rack, and so on. I won't give you the details on those because I would rather you have the surprise of all the prizes for the event. So I hope that you enjoyed this video with the tournament event. Make sure that you invite your friends. This was Hector with HBO Gaming Online. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.